I've been wearing the Hidden Hybrid holster inside the waistband, outside the waistband holster for the last 30 days. Let's check out what my final thoughts are. Coming up on Fit and Fire. What's up trigger pullers? Thanks for swinging by. Welcome to Fit and Fire Friday. I really appreciate you guys checking things out. If you're new to the channel, thanks. That's pretty awesome, you guys swinging by. All right, so let's get into it. You guys already know from the intro, we're talking about hidden hybrid holsters inside the waistband, outside the waistband, hybrid holster setup. That's a mouthful, I know, but you've already seen kind of the um, initial, hey, this is what the holster is. So I'm not going to bore you with all the fine minute details of what it is, but it is a hybrid holster. So a Kydex front and a fabric slash leather back. Uh, that is what a hybrid holster is. So, been wearing it for the last 30 days and wasn't sure I was going to like it, but I will say right up front, I've changed my mind. I've actually come to really enjoy this holster and there's a couple different reasons why I've come to like it. But before I get into the finer points, my thoughts on this, I uh, really want to take a second to say thanks guys for swinging by fitandfire.com and checking things out there. Big help to the channel, more than you guys know. Uh, of course, naturally, I try to be transparent. There are a lot of affiliate links, and each time that you guys check things out, uh, that helps the channel, especially if you buy something. I get a small commission from that, and it doesn't cost you guys anything extra. Typically, what I like to do is find those budget deals for you guys and uh, try to save you money as well. So not only are you guys helping the channel out, but I'm also trying to save you guys some money. So again, thank you for checking things out and buying stuff off of fitandfire.com. So some new stuff, go check it out. All right, let's get into it. So initially I was skeptical. I've told you guys that I was skeptical about this setup because I'm not a hybrid holster type of guy. I like Kydex. Um, I like the idea of having Kydex on the front and back of the trigger guard to ensure that nothing's going to work itself into the trigger area. I usually carry appendix and there's a reason for that. I'm not going to get into the argument of, you know, you're going to shoot your junk off. Uh, okay. There's another, there's a time and place for that. We're not going to get into that. But when I was presented this holster a few months ago, I was like, meh, meh I don't know. Yeah, I just don't know. Because one of the main reasons why is as you can see, this holster is meant for the four to five o'clock position carry. Now, that is a problem for me. The reason why that's a problem for me is because I have degenerative disc disease in my L4, L5, uh, and that causes um, me to have a bulging disc and uh, pushes up against my sciatic nerve, so I have sciatic nerve pain. That runs through my right buttocks and down my hamstring into my calf. It's, so uh, I'm dealing with pain on a daily basis. There's ways for me to mitigate that. One of the ways is staying active, hence fit and fire. <laughs> and um, so I have to stay on top of it. Um, and one of the reasons why I've moved from carrying in the four or five o'clock position to the appendix is to help mitigate that pain. That was my biggest concern. And it, and it came out in the first week. I started carrying this inside the waistband and you're able to do that with these clips. These clips will come with the holster. You can insert them here in these three holes and you can change the position on this to, to, determine, to determine how high or low you want it to sit, if you want it to cant one way or the other. And I thought that was uh, very smartly done. Uh, but I did start carrying inside the waistband and noticed that I was starting to have more and more pain, so I had to stop. Coincidentally, it turned out that when I did stop, I was already on a trip to Georgia to Iraq Veteran 8888's Range Day and happened to meet the guys from Hidden Hybrid Holsters. And I talked to them about that and they solved the problem fairly simply and I kind of felt like a bit of an idiot. <laughs> but they said, well, why don't you just carry outside the waistband? I mean, that's what the, the belt loops are for, right? You can carry outside the waistband, take the clips off, and that should solve the problem for you. 
And I said, well, I don't, I don't carry outside the waistband because I don't open carry. And he said, well, I don't open carry either. And he lifted up his shirt and showed me. He's got it all set up and it was good to go. And I was like, well, there you go. Felt like an idiot, but it happens, right? So <laughs> anyway, I made that change and I've been carrying it from about the 3.30 to 3.45, 4 o'clock position. And that has actually really helped by moving it a little bit more forward. It's taken a lot of pressure off my lower back and that has been huge for me. So that has been one of the areas that I've kind of changed my mind with it. Um, the quality of this holster, I think, is the best on the market so far from what I've seen. I've seen a few other hybrid holsters. I've actually held a few in my hand. And the, the, the craftsmanship on this holster setup between the leather, the suede backing, and the Kydex, I think, is probably one of the best on the market, if not the best, that I've seen so far. Not saying I've seen all of them, but I think this is probably top notch and one of the best. Um, the Kydex and the retention of the Kydex with this has been pretty good, so no issues there. And I really do like the stitching that they have around on the outside. It just, it just makes it look like a really well thought out quality holster. So I gotta give you a thumbs up on that one, you know? And again, changing my mind on how to best wear this for, for me personally. Now, one of the main reasons that is, this has become more appealing to me is the fact that I will be going to a formal here, uh, a formal event here in the next few days, and I was concerned on how I was going to be able to carry in a, in a suit. And my suit is a little bit more form-fitting, um, just kind of my style, kind of the uh, the McGregor type of suit. If you've seen Conor McGregor walking around before a fight in his suit, that's kind of how my suits are. And not the pinstripes, but, <laughs> uh, but that is what I was concerned about was trying to figure out how am I going to carry in that suit. And it turns out that this actually I think is going to work out very, very well. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I will have pictures of me in my new suit. It's a five piece suit. I think it looks pretty snazzy. And I'll show you exactly how I've got my stuff set up. So you can maybe learn something from that if you don't already know. So that has been the, the positives I've found with this setup. I know it's not for everybody. Uh, initially it wasn't for me, but I have found that uh, I've come to really enjoy it and it's going to continue to be in my rotation, especially with my P365. So they have more designs than just this. They actually do have a appendix rig if you guys are looking uh, for an appendix rig and a hybrid style holster. So that's something that you guys can check out. Uh, naturally, if you swing on over to fitandfire.com, I will have a link to Hidden Hybrid Holsters so you guys can check that out. So there you have it, Hidden Hybrid Holsters 30-day review. I've come to really enjoy this holster and, and as I've mentioned, it will be in my rotation with all the different holsters that I have. Tell me what you guys think. Is Hidden Hybrid Holsters a manufacturer that you guys are interested in? Or do you have experience with them? Sound off in the comments section down below. Do you carry a hybrid style holster and have you had good luck with it? Really wanna hear what you guys think. So that's really all I got this time. Thanks for swinging by. I really do appreciate it. Check out uh, fitandfire.com. I'll have a whole bunch of links to include links for Hidden Hybrid Holsters as well. And I sure do appreciate all the support. You guys are awesome. And we'll check you next Friday on Fit and Fire Fridays. That's all I got this time. Thanks, y'all. Here comes a high five. Freedom through strength. Take care. Bye. If you made it this far in the video, then I'd really appreciate you guys would consider subscribing. You can do that right here. Or if you want to check out some other videos that I've got going, check them out right here. If you like the hoodies and shirts that I'm wearing, that's Revolutionary Patriot. I got a link to their website down in the description below with a discount code. And as always, keep on dropping those bells and shells. Thanks, y'all.